here's something interesting that we may have some common ground on. Okay. Um, and what, but what do you think about same sex marriage? It's a sin. You think it's a sin. So you think it I'm sinful. Sin. What's that? You think I'm sin sinful because I'm married to a man. Yeah. You do. Yes. Okay. You're sinning. You are in a sinful relationship. I don't believe, I actually don't believe marriage can be between two men. Hello friends. Welcome back to another video. Welcome again. If it is your first time, please hit that like, that subscribe button and that notification bell for all updates. And if you're a returning subscriber, thank you for being here and thank you for watching the video today. So we got to talk about it. Um, today's topic, we got to talk about the um, Candace Owen and Don Lemon, I think his name is. Um, because I think this is going to be very in important so we can know what's actually happening. Now, I'm not going to talk much. I'm going to go straight to the actual video. Without any delay, let's get active. Here's something interesting that we may have some common ground on, okay? Um, and wh but what do you think about same-sex marriage? It's a sin. You think it's a sin? So you think it I'm sinful? Sin. What's that? You think I'm sin sinful because I'm married to a man? Yeah. You do? Yes, okay. you're sinning. You are in a sinful relationship. I don't believe, I actually don't believe marriage can be between two men. So I don't. But you understand marriage. though, Candace, and maybe we're not going to agree on this now. I thought we would. Do you understand though that um, the same Bible verses and the same scriptures that are used um, to s call same sex sex marriage sinful are used to call um, interracial marriage sinful as well. And so there are people who would say that you are in a sinful marriage. Can you tell me which verse it is that would make people uh, it, the, say? It's, well, it, the thing is, is that it's actually not there and that people twist the Bible verses. That's my whole point for thank you for proving that because it doesn't say that. And, and it's okay. actually, you're gonna say Leviticus or whatever. It's not actually what Leviticus says, but go on. I don't wanna get into to, you know, specifics about the that's not what the Bible says. It's just people uh, using and interpreting scripture in a way that they want to interpret it. So it, I, I, look, you can believe whatever you want to believe. I don't believe that I'm in a sin, sinful marriage, but there are people who believe, Candace Owens, that you are in a sinful marriage because you are in an interracial marriage. And I say that as someone who is in an interracial marriage, so I am doubly sinful. So this is the... <laughs> Um, those are the the people that actually say that try to say that the Bible is against interracial marriage. They are racist. I'm put it like that. They are racist. Yes. Be the the Bible. You know what? Let me see that right. The Bible. God was against the Israelites marrying other nations, not because of the skin color. But it was because of the, um, it's like saying um, the beliefs. It says, I, I made a video the other day about um, good news for the, for singles pumped by Pastor Randy Skeet. Why he says, if you are a Baptist, marry a Baptist person. Doesn't matter what skin color, marry a Baptist person. If you are a Methodist, marry a Methodist. If you are a Seventh-day Adventist, marry a Seventh-day Adventist. If you are a Satanist, marry a demon. <laughs> so, yes, it's not that God prohibits interracial marriage, but it's more that the beliefs, God wants to prevent believers to be married with unbelievers. But let's keep on going. Yeah, I've never heard anybody make a biblical argument against people being married that are black and white. So that's why I said, can you just tell me yeah. what verse that was? Sodomy is obviously a sin, but I've never heard a biblical argument. I'm, I'm happy to learn. I, I honestly, you know I'm happy to learn. Sodomy is not just for gay sex, right? You know that, right? Sodomy yeah, is- Yeah, it's a sin always, by the yeah, way. Yeah, it's a sin between, yeah. it can be a sin between heterosexuals as well. Yes, that's but, correct. So, okay, so, but um, you've never heard that interracial marriage was sinful? 
I've I mean, never heard somebody make a biblical argument for yeah. interior. I've never, and that's why I'm saying if you could present that to me and you, if maybe you're familiar yeah, with what that was. Yeah, but actually it's not a biblical argument. It's also a religious argument uh, as well, more so than anything that you're in a sinful marriage and that black and white people should not be married. I mean, I'm obviously very aware that people can think that ideologically, but I've never heard that biblical argument made ever in my life. And mm -hmm. I'm, I'm happy to be proven wrong here, but I, I think you, you made that up on the spot there. So by saying that, no, I didn't actually, but by okay. saying that you believe that I'm in a sinful marriage, yeah. um, does that mean though that I should be discriminated against? No, I've never called for discrimination. So you believe People in the separation of church and state then? Heterosexual couples can sin as well. I mean, I, I, but I, you know, I hope that you deal with that. I obviously, <laughs> I want you to be Christian and to understand why it is that sodomy is a sin and what else it yields in society. You know, I, I believe that marriage is between a man and a woman. Yeah. That's but that doesn't belief. mean that you believe that I should be discriminated against. I should I don't believe be, I should be able person, to have under the constitution, you believe that I have the same rights as you and uh, other heterosexuals and that my marriage is just as valid under the yeah. constitution as anybody else's included. Well, I believe that the problem became that, that gets into a deeper theological discussion, but like the, the government should have never taken marriage away from the church. It should have been something that main, was maintained as a church practice. And so a lot of things happened there when the government took over and began marrying people because then the arguments became, well, you get a tax break if you're married. And that is a way longer discussion that we can have in a different day. But to answer your question, I would never want any person based on their sins to ever be discriminated against, ever. I mean, I, I don't believe in discrimination. I don't believe that people should be treated differently. I, I, I think people should get help, you know? Uh, and like we were just talking about with trans indoctrination, I believe that's a mental illness and people should seek help, but I don't believe that they should be discriminated against. I would never be okay with that. Okay. I mean, I have people that are, you know, gay and lesbians in my life. I have cousins who are lesbians, so it's not, I don't have hatred Do you have gay in my friends? heart. You have Jewish I, friends, I have, you have gay friends? <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to be funny. Do you have gay friends? I, I want to know. Yes, I, 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 do, I actually don't have... Like I, I really kind of feel like I only hang out with my family right now. So I'm a little, <laughs> I've got three kids under three, so I don't really have friends right now, but yeah, sure. No, seriously. You, you don't have gay friends. Well, I have, I have gay people in my family. So I, I, yeah, that's, that's the extent of my friendships with gay people. Are you homophobic? <laughs> No, I'm seriously. I, want to You're know, such I, an absurd I thought you would say, being. of course, I have gay friends. You're just such an absurd being. That, know, first saying. off, the person that you, you're just an absurd human being. Are you homophobic? <laughs> oh, I was just like, what, what does it even? What does homophobia actually mean? Can you give me a definition of homophobic? If I was homophobic, would I be doing like this show? Do you think I'm like scared? Like I'm like, oh my god, look, there's a gay man. I'm so scared. It's no, not, not at all. Have a phobia is like to have question. a phobia fear of like you know do you think i fear like two gay men that are walking down the street holding hands like and i'm just like oh my god i'm so scared i don't fear i don't fear anything but god that's it yeah uh well i don't i don't think god is to be feared but anyways i'm just surprised that you don't have any gay friends because that you know it, I, I just am um so he doesn't think god is to be feared because he doesn't know who god is that's the point um people who know who god is the judgment of God, the judgments of God are so terrible. You would not even, even if it touches the tip of your nail, you would want, you would be like, I'd rather die than actually feel the judgment of God. Donovan doesn't even know who God is. He doesn't think you should fear God. Now, there are two things when it comes to fearing God. One, respect Him. And two, Yes, you should be afraid of God because God can also destroy. He has destroyed wicked people who tried to come after his people. So yes, it's not fear as afraid mostly. It's fear as reverence and love and respect for him. But when you want to do wicked stuff, then yes, you should be afraid, Don Lemon. But hey, between you and God, I'm not going to get into that. Let's move on. Um, so listen, I, I actually enjoyed this conversation. I think people who disagree with each, each other should be able to talk and hash things out. So I hope Did that you enjoy it. 
100% I enjoyed it. See, I think people think that conversations should be easy, that everyone should, that people should agree with everything. I have a different perspective on life. I have a different worldview than you. Many things you say I don't respect, but I respect you as a human being. And I think that the only way that we are going to make this grand experiment work is if at some point we try to at least have consensus on something. And sometimes the, the least of that consensus is being able to at least talk about it and go away saying, you know what? We agree to disagree. You know? I think that's fine. I believe in more speech, not less. So you will not make an enemy of me if you're talking about the right to conversation. I very much believe in it. Candace Owens, thank you for appearing. I really appreciate your time. Thanks. All right. So this is how it ended. The idea that people have made it something about if you are a black person or a white person, it's a condemnation to date outside of your skin color. That is totally something made up. But let's address the last thing first. The idea that if you don't have gay friends, I don't have gay friends. I don't have any homosexual friends. Because let me tell you something. Homosexuality, basically, it has the word. Now, they took the word gay, which meant used to mean happy and cheerful. They made it turn into that. Lesbian are also homosexual because homosexuality means Sex seven relationship, same as gay. Transgender is if let's say I am a man, I'm attracted to women, but I believe I'm a woman and I transition to become a woman, it will be still considered homosexual because now it's I'm supposed to be a woman and I'm with a woman. And so the whole thing is like weird now i have nothing against people who want to do what, what, what they want to do our issue is not to the people our issue is to the lifestyle the same way we don't like murder but when somebody commits murder our first thought is not should not shouldn't be to oh let's kill him too or let's kill her too no it should be pray for her Pray for him. Same way for homosexuals. Now, he mentioned that, you know, the Bible is, you know, never talks about homosexuality. Uh, Leviticus 18, whatever. That verse is so clear as to what it means. There is no way you can actually read that and not, uh, and not know what is going on. Now, of course... We're going to go there. The unlawful sexual relations. Now, unlawful sexual relations is not just homosexuality. It's also adultery. It's also fornication. It's also um, the other things that you do. I don't want to, because this is YouTube, I don't want to say those words that can uh, give issues. But look at this. Look at that. Another un another unlawful sexual relation, the nakedness, verse 18, verse 9, the nakedness of thy father's wife shall thou not uncover. Meaning, if somebody wants to have sex with their mother, that's an unlawful sexual relation. And that's, uh, that should be disgusting. But people can, people do that. The nakedness of your daughter of your sister, of your brother, of your ooh, nephew, nieces, that are also unlawful. But when it and God calls that what? Wickedness. Wickedness. Those are also um, abominations too, in a sense. But here, verse 22, the word abomination actually comes right here. Thou shalt not lie with mankind, meaning you as a man, you should not lie with mankind. And that word lie 
it doesn't mean to lie to someone. It means to be in a sexual relationship with someone because that chapter is about unlawful sexual relations. Lie. Let's see what that word means. It means to lie down, to have a sexual connection. So when Don Lemon is saying, whoa, um, verse so Leviticus 18 is not talking about homosexuality. It clearly says sexual connection. Sexual to lie down. Basically to lie down for sexual connection. Right? So there is no way you can say that it doesn't have anything to do with homosexuality. Because it does. Because then it says or with, to lie with mankind as with a womankind. So, as a man, you should not be in a sexual relation with a man as you would do with a woman. It is an abomination. And let me tell you something, guys. Abomination is not a social construct. The same way murder is not a social construct. The same way Adultery is not a social construct. Those are not social constructs. Those are abomination. Those are in every single society. Everywhere you go, you're going to find that same underlying thing. Abomination. It's like saying 1 plus 1 is equal to 2 is a social construct. No. Math is universal. Air is universal. Oxygen is universal. Anywhere you go on the planet, you're gonna have to. Be, you're gonna be breathing. Same way, abomination is not a social construct. But let's keep on moving. Let me tell you guys the idea that um, people can use the Bible to say that you shouldn't be having a in an inter interracial marriage. This is a bunch of baloney. People that are racist. We'll say that. That's why I said earlier, if you're a Baptist, marry a Baptist person, which means it can be any color. I think you should. Sometimes, the only the issue happens when you are a Baptist and you want to marry a Catholic. Or you're a Catholic and you want to you marry a Satanist. Or you're a Satanist and then you want to marry a Methodist. That's when the issue comes because the beliefs don't match. So, what we know is marriage between two different... First thing first, let me actually say it right now. We don't have different races. First thing first. We have one race, different color. I'm a human, same thing. One head, two eyes, one nose, two nostrils, one mouth, teeth, hand, arm, feet... Same thing as anybody on this planet as a human being. We are one race, just different skin color. So no, as long as the belief system align, it is not an issue. So I could marry a African person. I could marry a Asian person. I could marry a South American person or American in general. Any American, whether they are from Canada, U.S., uh, in Brazil, they are all Americans. But guess what? As long as that person is a Seventh day Adventist, it will be okay. Now, let me go to the actual issue. The issue is the LGBT or the alphabet community is trying to rewrite the Bible to soothe their own wicked ways. I'm going to call it the way it is. How do I know that? Well, number one, have you guys seen this video about um, the a message from the gay community performed by the San Francisco Gay Men's Chorus? We will convert your children. Wait, let me see. Can I play that right now? Let me actually play this right now. You think we're sinful? 
You fight against our rights. You say we all lead lives you can't respect. But you're just frightened. You think that we'll corrupt your kids if our agenda goes unchecked. Funny, just this once, you're correct. We'll convert your children. Happens bit by bit, quietly and subtly, and you will barely notice it. Alright. I'm gonna I'm not gonna be playing it all the way because I don't want to promote that. But just so you guys know, this is the agenda. So Donovan might be clueless, or maybe he might, might know and act like he is clueless, but this is the agenda. Now, they are trying to write the Bible into their own lustful, sinful ways. But um, homophobia, why would I be afraid of two people who decided to have a sex, same, same sex marriage. First of all, we are not afraid of homosexuals. No. God loves them and we pray for them to become better people. What we don't want is them in that, like in that video, trying to indoctrinate our children. No. If you want it to be, you, you want it to become that, you can you live your life as for however you want. Not a problem. But I want to have my kid be raised in the right way, in God's way. Now, last thing. A, we have something that we called, and I think I've seen that before. It's called the Reformation Project. I think I've seen that church somewhere as I was driving by. And... This is the um, Reformation Project, a brief biblical case. Now, let me tell you what's going on right now. So they want you to believe that what the Bible said in past time, meaning in Leviticus, in Romans, First Corinthians, that was for back then. So let's see what they say right here. So experience of sound Christian teachings should show good fruit not bad fruit. That is true. Right? And they say, none of having beliefs about same-sex relationship and transgender people contribute to serious harm in liberty in alphabet people's life. That is not true. You want to choose to live your life? You do that. If the guilt is in you, that's a different thing. That means you need to go and pray to God. It's not because our teaching that is... um harming you. No, it's your guilt that is in you. Now, two, the tradition, the Christian tradition doesn't address sexual orientation. We just saw it right here in Leviticus chapter 18. We just saw that right here, verse 22. So yes, God made one man and one woman the same way we don't agree with homosexuality and the same-sex relationship, I would say I don't even try to call it marriage because it's not a marriage because marriage is men and a woman as a union. Same-sex relationship is the same way we, we, we do not agree with polygamy. People in the Bible actually did it, but God never accepted it. Because why? When they ask him, can we just divorce because we want to? No, God says, Jesus said, no. God made them one man and one woman. Now, let's keep moving. We got more. Celibacy is a gift, not a mandate. Oh, wait a minute. I thought, oh, wait a minute. Since when was celibacy a, a gift? Wait a minute. Because as what I've seen right here, Bible clearly says, um, here are those who will not inherit the kingdom of heaven. Verse number 9, Know ye not that the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of God. What is it? 
unrighteous. So those who are living in the sinful life. Not somebody who made a sin once and then repented. No. Those who are practicing the um, wicked lifestyle. lifestyle. And wicked doesn't mean you murdered somebody. It also means what? Neither fornicators. Fornicators, idolaters, adulterers, effeminate, or, or nor abusers of themselves with mankind. Abusers of themselves with mankind. The homosexual life. Homosexuality is also considered abusers of themselves with mankind. Now, it can also mean the sexual assault and things like that as well. Let's keep on moving. Then we have um, gender complementary is a broad category. Not a, yeah, they are basically trying to rewrite the Bible again to deceive those younger impressionable mind. The arc of scripture points towards inclusion, not exclusion. Really? Wait a minute. When God talks about inclusion, He doesn't talk about inclusion in sin. He talks about those who want to make a covenant with Him should be included, not those who want to do wicked things. Because in the time of Noah, the wicked, they weren't included in the ark, they were outside in the ark and they were dead. Sarah and Gomorrah were not included, they were killed while Lot fled. Are you sure it's just inclusion? No. It's inclusion in God. Not inclusion in wickedness. Two different things. So, well, we just talk about that. That, we can know that's a straight up lie because God said their wickedness went to heaven. So, not even that. Uh, number seven, Leviticus, the to Christians. You know, people who say that Leviticus don't have to Christians or the same one that would say, oh, the Sabbath, the seventh day of the week, the Sabbath, does not apply to Christians as well. They would say the same thing. Let me tell you something. Homosexuality or abomination is not a social construct. It doesn't matter what timeline you were living on. It is still an abomination. Romans 8. Wow. First Corinthians and First Timothy. We just read that too. Marriage is about covenant. No. Marriage is about a covenant between a man and a woman. God says, chapter 2 of Genesis 24, Therefore shall a man leave his father and his mother uh, and leave his, leave his father and his mother and cleave unto his wife. That was, that was in creation time. That was not even after sin. That was before sin. So, what did we learn today? The idea that homosexuality is now looked to be like something. No, it is still an abomination to this day. We are trying to rewrite history. We are trying to rewrite definition to include those that want to live the satanic lifestyle. Well, just know, Jesus is coming soon. Because Jesus said, before he comes, it's going to be very much wickedness all over the world. Because sin will abound, the love of many will wax cold. So, my friends, I'm going to stop it right here. Thank you for watching the video. If you made it so far, don't forget to hit that like button. And that's the subscribe button on your way out. It was the Open World TV with you back again. Hope to see you guys again. Once again, bye for now.